Hi, my dear friends. So, as you know, like during the lockdown, we have some of the problems over here in Kashmir and all over across the globe. Now, for that purpose, you know, it's it's very important for us to have you know the good lectures for you and to provide the good uh, facilities and because uh, like you know it's very important to take the advantage of the new modern system. Now we are here, and uh, first of all, I would love to introduce myself. My name is Muhammad Arif, and uh, you know I teach uh, English and as a language subject. And I've actually, as far as my qualification is concerned, I'm MBA from lovely professional university. And you know, for this now, you know, without uh, taking further ado, let us take a, a great uh, advantage over here. For example, you know, for you, it's very important for us, like as we know some of the tips and uh, or we know some of the uh, topics of english it's good to convey to you guys and maybe you are in the in your fundamental course or you are in 10th class or 12th class so it's very important to have a good you know context because your exams may be coming in and uh, you would be going for the exams and without you know doing further let's let's talk about something which is very important today when we talk about the system or when we talk about the english as a particular the part of the portion of english language the grammar you know we have a good topic over here called the tense the word tense so today we'll be particularly talking about this word the tense when we talk about the word tense you know if i write this on the board you know it has a great you know when we talk about the uh, the weightage of its uh, this um, topic you know it's very useful when we talk about the uh, tense as a word when we talk about this like you know as per the syllabus system or when we talk about this you know the general or the fundamental utilizations of this word it's very important to understand it first when we talk about this tense it's very important to understand like tense it this word or the tense owes birth from some words the first word being when we talk about this it has got its birth from the latin word when we talk about this latin word tense ha gets its birth from the latin word which is called tempus now there is another language called anglo-french and when we talk about that anglo-french language we have another word that gives birth to this tense is called tempendo tempendo let me let me just switch my language in the urdu so you could understand it uh, very well so jab hum baat karte tense ki ye jo latin word se nikla hai uska matlab tempus hai uske baad anglo french ek language hai uska ek word hai tempendo and uske baad jo latin ek ye jo latin word hai iski jo third form hai we call that tempus tmps now jab hum in teen cheezon ki baat karte hain when we talk about the tempus tempendo and the word tempus these three mean time now when we talk about time so kuch log ye kehte hain ki temp टेंस का मतलब टाइम होता है नहीं यहाँ पे एक बात याद रखनी है जब हम टेंस की बात करते हैं इट शोज टू थिंग्स द फर्स्ट थिंग इट शोज इज सेंस ऑफ वर्क सेंस पर्टिकुलरली वी टॉक अबाउट सेंस टेंस दिखाता है दो चीजें एक तो सेंस दिखाता है दूसरा होता है टाइम यहां पे एक बात जरूरी याद रखी कि टेंस का मतलब टाइम नहीं है इट्स नेवर इट नेवर मीन्स टाइम इट शोज टाइम एंड सेंस नाउ abhi aap log maybe you would be perplexed over here now what does time mean jab hum time ki baat karte hain to time kya hai agar tense time dikhata hai time sense dikhata hai to time kya hai when we try to understand the definition of this word time so when we understand the word time time is an imaginary line for example jab hum ek line ki baat karte hain imaginary line or imagine word jo hota hai wo word which we could इमेजिन जो हम तस्वर कर सकते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर मेरे दिमाग में कोई बात आई फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई से यू गाइज वहाँ पर एक एक्सीडेंट हुआ था जब हम एक्सीडेंट की बात कर रहे हैं या फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई से यू आसमान से तारा टूट पड़ा सो यू योर माइंड मे बी थिंक इन अबाउट द स्टार सो इट कुड विजुअलाइज और योर माइंड कुड थिंक अबाउट द सिटुएशन और इट कुड इमेजिन द सिटुएशन बट यू कैन नेवर सी इट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ इफ आई टॉक अबाउट दिस मार्केट सो यू कुड सी इट लाइक अ टेंजेबल थिंग इट कुड बी सीन इट कुड बी फेल्थ और इट कुड बी टच बट वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द वर्ड इमेजिन दिस कंप्लीटली मीन्स लाइक यू कैन नॉट सी इट बट यू कुड विजुअलाइज दिस थिंग इन योर माइंड सो जब हम टाइम की बात करते हैं इट्स अ इमेजनरी लाइन जब हम इमेजनरी लाइन की बात करते हैं इमेज 
ordinary line. For example, koi ek banda hai, Mr. X or Mr. A, wo 1990 mein janma hai. For example, he got birth in 1990. अब हम क्या करते हैं ये जो टाइम है उसकी लाइफ की जो लाइन है उसकी लाइफ की जो टाइम है वो यहां पे 1990 से स्टार्ट हो गई नाउ आफ्टर दैट व्हेन वी ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द सिचुएशन जब वो बंदा 1990 में बोर्न हो गया तो उसके लाइन की और उसके लाइफ की जो लाइन है वो यहां पे स्टार्ट हो गई अब फॉर एग्जांपल आज क्या चल रहा है 2020 तो फॉर एग्जांपल आप ये जान लो कि अभी जो 2020 है वो 9th 10th में 10th क्लास में पढ़ रहा है तो 2020 में वो 10th क्लास में पढ़ रहा है तो पिछले साल जब 2019 था he was in 9th class तो यहां पे एक बात याद रखनी है जो time है as an imaginary line यहां पे एक point होता है जो हमेशा चलता रहता है for example पिछले साल ये जो point था it was here and it crossed the 365 days and now it's on 2020 so this means Mr. X जो है वो आज 10th class में आ गया तो 2020 में उसका point जो है वो यहां पे था so you have to understand a point over here that when we talk about this imaginary line यहां पे एक ever moving point है वो point जो हमेशा चलता रहता है so पिछले साल वो यहां पे था आज यहां पे लेकिन यहां पे एक बात याद रखने जहां पे point होगा for example this point is on the 2020 or the guy or the Mr. X or Mr. A Mr. X or Mr. A he is in the 10th class this means uski life ka wo jo point hai wo 2020 pe hai to sara jo usne yahan pe yahan se ya, is point se 1990 se yahan